this video, we're going to try to figure out what the tension in a rope is that suspends a 10 kilogram mass. And we're going to make a few assumptions. We're going to assume that this box is at rest. That is, it's moving at 0 meters per second. And we're going to assume that it's in a reference frame that is not accelerating. So the acceleration of this object is 0 meters per second. Now before we do anything, we should look at the forces acting on this object. So this object is here on Earth, therefore the force of gravity is pulling this object in the downward direction, giving it weight. Now in response to the weight force, due to the force of gravity, the rope is going to pull back on this object in the upward direction, giving it a force we call tension, which we abbreviate with a capital T. Now that we've identified the forces acting on this box, the tension force pulling this box in the upward direction, and the weight force pulling this box in the downward direction, we can apply Newton's second law, which says that if you add up the forces, acting on an object is going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. Now remember, Newton's second law is a vector equation, which means we have to take into account the directions that the forces are acting. Now in this case, the forces are acting in the up and down direction only, that is, in the y direction. Now one of the things that we assumed was that the box was at rest, and so the acceleration of this object is zero, and so this entire term will work out to be zero. And we can rewrite Newton's second law, saying that if you add up the forces acting on this object, it's going to equal zero. Now whenever you see the sum of the forces equals zero, it means that the forces acting on this object balance out. Another way to say that is there is no net force acting on this object. So this object is going to remain at rest. Now one of the things that we can do right away is we can figure out what the weight of this object is. In a previous video we figured out that the weight of the object was equal to the mass of the object times the gravitational acceleration. Sometimes we called this term the gravitational weight. And in this case this object has a mass of 10 kilograms and for the purposes of this video, we're just going to assume that the acceleration due to gravity is going to be 10 meters per second squared. We know it's really 9.8 meters per second squared. But to make the multiplication nice and easy, we're just going to use 10. So 10 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared will work out to be 100 newtons. So the weight of this object is exactly 100 newtons. Now, we're going to use this information, the weight of this box, and Newton's second law to figure out what the tension in this rope is. So using Newton's second law, so by Newton's second law, when you add up the forces acting on this box, it's going to equal zero newtons. And in this case, there are two forces acting on this box. There's the tension force pulling this box in the upward direction, and we're going to subtract off the weight force because the weight is pulling this box in the downward direction, and so we're going to subtract the weight force from the tension force because the weight is acting in the downward direction. And these should add up to be zero newtons. Now we just figured out what the magnitude of the weight force was. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as the tension minus the weight force, which we just said was exactly equal to 100 newtons, and this should add up to be 0 newtons. Now we're trying to solve for t. We're trying to find the tension in the rope. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this weight force, this 100 newtons, to both sides. So we're going to add 100 newtons to both sides to solve for t. What you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other side of an equation. And so we're going to get t minus 100 plus 100 works out to be 0 equals 0 plus 100 or 100 newtons. So the tension, so the tension in the rope is going to be 100 newtons. So going back up to our picture, if the weight of this object is 100 newtons, the rope has to pull back with a force equal to the weight of the object. The, the force of gravity is pulling this object in the downward direction with a force of 100 newtons, and so the rope is going to have to pull in the upward direction on this box with an equal force of 100 newtons. And again, we're assuming that this object is not being accelerated by an outside force. That is, we're assuming that this is not in an elevator. So we're assuming that in an inertial frame of reference.